Hey guys, a quick video for today, just to make sure that you know your Lenormand ABCs. So this is like the foundations of all the readings that we do. These three things, this A, B, and C. Um, if you do this, it'll help you stay on point on your readings. So A would be answer the question, B would be brief, and three is the cards only. And let me explain these three things. So A, answer the question. You answer the question that you are asking and only that question. This all has to do with context, context. Use only the context of that exact question. So always ask, am I answering the question? We get so involved in looking at the cards. Sometimes we stray off and we're not answering the question anymore. For example, if there's a yes, no question, people will start interpreting the cards and they never give a yes or no answer. Um, so you have to stop and ask, am I answering this question in my reply? If it asks about how, make sure you're explaining how something is happening and not some other like tangent. Or if they ask when, make sure it's a timing question that you're not just explaining what's happening. They want to know when. So that's A is answer the question. B is be brief. Summarize those cards very concisely. Just consider each card like a word or concept. Boom, boom, boom. Three cards or even five cards, you can say that in 10 seconds or less. So you don't elaborate like you do in tarot where you can go on and on. It's just brief, brief, brief. We have the tendency to want to expand as much as we can. Don't fear being too short. It's okay. And so B is be brief. So answer the question, B, be brief. C is cards only. So you're just going to look at what's in the cards. You're just going to read the cards word for word. Be very specific only to those cards that are in front of you, not what's beyond them in your head. So don't try, think more narrow than wide when you're interpreting. So you read the cards when you're reading Lenormand without um, adding why or how you think that situation is happening. If it says there's money problems, you, you don't want to explain why um, unless you ask that question. Just read it plain and simple. Um, don't fear that you're being too short again. Just read it as it is. It'll say it like it's supposed to be said. If you need to know more about the whys and hows and all these other things, just refer back to tip A, which is answer the question. So that means you will need a new question so you can answer that one and put down new cards. Start over with your new question. So you start the whole process over again. So A, answer the question. B, be brief. C, cards only. Don't go beyond those cards and make up your own thing. When you're at your own table, once you know how to do the Lenormand, once you've figured out how to do the system by the rules, then if you want to go off on a tangent and, and like, trust your gut in what you're getting, what happens at your table happens at your table. My job as a teacher is to tell you if you're interpreting the, car interpreting the cards and you go off on a tangent and I, I'm like, mm, cards aren't really saying that. Just say what the cards say. It's all part of the teaching process from my end. Just say what the cards say. Okay? ABC. Your foundation for good Lenormand readings.